Hi everyone, my name is Chantel and welcome to another video. It is the first Friday of the month and today I'm creating the 8th Harry Potter Matchbox Diorama for you. If you would like to catch up on all the other ones, I will leave a link in the iCard section, somewhere here. So let's see what the 8th Harry Potter Diorama Matchbox will be. That's all the old ones, by the way, if you're wondering. <laughs> and it is St. Mungo's. So let's go. As always, I'm starting off my Harry Potter matchbox with a matchbox that I made myself. I will include the measurements down below and the website where you can find it. This time I'm going to go with a horizontal matchbox instead of a vertical one. And what you can see me do here is applying ink by Tim Holtz and Ranger to the matchbox and then spraying it with water so you can get that mottled effect of brick. And this is what it looks like when it's completely dry. Then moving on to the interior of the matchbox, I'm going to apply antique white acrylic paint to the entire interior of the matchbox because it is a hospital and I think this should still be white. You will see me add some other elements later on in the video, but for now, this is the base color. Here is a little sketch that I made. Because there is so little imagery of St. Mungo's, I am going to go with my own artistic interpretation of this building. So I'm going to create the entrance of St. Mungo's, so basically the reception and waiting area. The imagery I used for this is a few of the um, artworks that are available of St. Mungo's by the creative team of this, the films and then base it on an old warehouse because what St. Mungo's is for muggles on the outside is Purge and Daos Limited, which is an old warehouse building. So I decided to go with the interior of an old warehouse as well, which if you look it up on Google images, you get a lot of arches. So that's what I went with and painting that with the same acrylic paint as the background. Then I am attaching some walls for behind the arches, so it actually looks like a hallway. You will see that a little bit later. Onto the floor. So like I said, I used imagery of old warehouses and in some of them they have this very eccentric checkered floor. So I thought that would be cool to put that in a Harry Potter kind of setting. For some reason I did not film the background, but what I did was make two hallways on the left and the right hand side and in the middle there will be a bookcase behind the reception area. And here I am painting on the bookshelves and the books as well. Thank you. 
To give the arches some more structural interest, I'm painting on some horizontal lines. And before I glue the arches on, I am painting on some directional signs. Now it's time to close up the matchbox and glue everything together. If you're interested to know in what materials I'm using for these Harry Potter matchbox videos, you can find them in the Amazon store link that I will link down below. And this is what we have so far with the arches glued in. So on the outside of the building it will say Perch and Douse Limited, but on the inside I thought it needed a sign or at least the name of the hospital as well. So that is what I'm painting on here. And because I was working with the black paint I thought the arches needed a little bit more interest. So I'm just adding a black line to the top parts here. Of course we cannot forget the grout and brick texture on the outside of the building. Then for the waiting area I created these little benches. I'm making two and there will be one on each side. And of course we need a reception for the reception area so that is what I'm creating here. I'm using some sturdy cardboard or chipboard as you might call it as well for the benches and the reception and then gluing everything in with super glue. This is the finished reception desk. Also gluing that in with super glue. and giving it a finishing touch with the lines that are also on the wall and the benches. To make the reception area a little bit more interesting and welcoming, I am adding a bead that will function as a flower pot or vase and adding some twigs and flowers that I had left over from a previous project. Then finally onto the exterior of the building. I drew out these arches for the windows, but I went with rectangular windows in the end. And this is me cutting out the doors to start with. With a black Sharpie marker, I'm adding some details to the windows. And with a Posca marker, I'm writing down Perch and Douse to the top of the building. To make it look like real windows, I'm adding a sheet of acetate to the back of the cutout windows and attaching this with super glue. with a Sharpie or CD marker, whatever writes on acetate. I'm adding the details to the windows so it looks like a real warehouse. Then for the final step, I'm attaching the front cover to the box. Now let's have a look what the final result looks like. And this is it for the 8th Harry Potter Matchbox Diorama. If you liked it, please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps my channel out. Make sure to check out my socials and consider supporting me on Patreon. And if you're new here, welcome! Please don't forget you can click the subscribe button to become part of the Raven family. Thanks so much for watching, stay safe, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!